This week I'm in Brisbane and this quiet suburban street is a far cry from the hustle and bustle of Tokyo. One of the Wallabies' greatest ever number eights, nowadays the coach of the Kubota Spears, has returned from Japan for a fleeting visit and it's great to be able to catch up with Totai Kefu. Sixty tests for the Wallabies, and you made your debut against the Springboks off the bench in Pretoria 1997. And there wasn't a lot to celebrate. Beaten 61-22. No, no, it wasn't. Um, it was my first test off the bench. Yeah, I replaced Jimmy Holbeck, who got sent off. Uh, we lost by about 39 points, but I think after that test, um, we got a bit of R and R at Sun City, so um, we didn't really. We, we celebrated for a couple of days, didn't really feel like a loss. That team went on to win the Tri-Nations, Bledisloe Cup, Rugby World Cup, a series win against the Lions. What made it so special? What do you attribute the success to? Look, I think with the change over in the, in the coaching and the management, um, they, starting put it, they started to put some things into place, um, goals especially, um, and we were looking forward to the World Cup and the, the Lions series, so um, we had a core of of a group of players that were really special. The crowning glory was winning the 1999 Rugby World Cup. Is that your greatest memory as a Wallaby? Uh, definitely, definitely. 99 is a crown. Um, you know, that, that was two years in planning. Um, so um, to finally to win it um, was, was a relief more than anything because, um, look, we worked, we worked pretty hard. Um, but we all became really close friends um, and, and, and um, we were quite a competitive bunch but the good thing was we also we had a lot of fun along the way. Kefu. Two thousand and one, let us look up in Sydney, John Eel's last test, you scored the late try to win the match, and Eelsie said he would buy you a beer every time he saw you for the rest of his life. Has he honoured that? Um, I, I haven't seen him since. He, I think he moved to Sydney straight after that. Um, there was a reunion a, about a month ago, oh no, it's only a couple of weeks ago, that I, I couldn't get to, so he, he got away with, without shouting me another beer. So he still owes you? Still owes me a beer. Nowadays you're coach of the Kubota Spears in Japan. Was coaching always on the radar for you? No, definitely not. I, I, was, I was actually looking forward to, to finishing rugby and, and having nothing to do with it, but um, I got involved with the club team when I moved back to, to Brisbane, um, but I was still involved with Kubota uh, as a spot coach. Um, and then, look, just my interest grew. Yeah, Isaac, look, Kubota offered me a chance to be head coach um, after two years moving back, and I said, look, yeah, I, I, I'd have a chat with my wife. Once my wife saw the numbers on the contract, she said, you're definitely going back. So um, I had no choice, really. Well, Toto, it's been great to catch up. Hopefully the current Wallabies can have the same amount of success that you experienced. Thanks, Scotty. Yeah.